Following on from the previous three videos, here's my fourth attempt to try and explain to you what a limit is. Um, there are many instances where you want to find out the value of a function as x approaches zero. But the only time you can say that the limit exists is when, when if someone specifies a, le a level of accuracy here, let's say to 500 decimal places, the only time you can say the limit of, of, of whatever here exists is when, when if someone specifies any level of accuracy up here, you can keep on edging to closer and closer towards zero, and, and eventually you can get to within 500 decimal places. So the only time you can say that the limit exists is when, when someone spec if someone specify a, a, um, a degree of accuracy, you can be 100% sure that well, sorry, if you if you can be 100% sure that you can keep on edging towards closer to your closer and closer towards your target, and you can get to within this level of accuracy, then you can say the limit exists. So here, um, here looking at this function here, um, if you um, the, you see here we can say that the li the limit of this here the limit of sine of x over x as x tends to zero equals one we can we can make this statement because we know that no matter what degree of accuracy someone specify up here we can keep on edging closer and closer towards zero and eventually we will get it within this level of accuracy so we can say that the limit of this exists. We cannot say, oh, sine of x over x equals 1. We cannot say this because, because at, at, at x equals 1, you're going to have something over 0. You, you, cannot, you cannot say this, but you can make this statement here. You see, my point is that there are many instances where you want to find out the value of, the, of something as x approaches 0. It's very useful. So, for, for example, if uh, let, let's just say... Um, x plus h minus f of uh, x here over h here. You see, you um, th when 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 this h here is uh, is zero, it's meaningless. But but there are many instances where we want to find out the limit of this here as as h approaches zero. Um, be, well, we we know we know that we can keep on. Well, that uh, another example is one minus. Uh, cos of x over x. You see, th there are many instances where we want to keep, where we want x here to head towards zero, but it, but it's meaningless, dead on zero. Um, but we want x here, the value of x here, to to head towards zero. There are many instances where we want this x here to head towards zero. There are many instances where we want this h here to head towards zero, but dead on. Dead on zero, this whole thing is meaningless. Dead on zero, this whole thing is meaningless. Dead on zero, this whole thing is meaningless. But there are many instances where we want to find out the value of this whole thing here as x here heads towards zero, as x here heads towards zero, as h here heads towards zero. There are many instances where, where those things are useful. But the only time we can say the limit exists is when we can be sure that um, no matter what level of accuracy someone specify we can we can we can edge towards closer and closer towards our target and we eventually can get um can get to within this level of accuracy that's the only time when you can say the limit exists okay